Hey friends, now we will discuss briefly here once again the pre-testing requirement, how to set up connections which are very important if you want to get the correct results. In order to obtain meaningful insulation resistance measurements, the electrician should carefully examine the system under test. The best results are achieved when the system or equipment is taken out of service and disconnected from all other circuits. Switches capacitors, bushes, lighting resistors, and circuit breakers. Make sure that the measurements are not affected by leakage current through switches and over current protection devices. The temperature of conductor is above the dew point of the ambient temperature so that moisture should not affect the uh, reading. When this is not the case, moisture coating will form on the, in, on the insulation surface and in some cases will absorb by material. The surface of conductor is free of carbon and other foreign matter that can become conductive in humid condition. Applied voltage is not too high. When testing low voltage systems, too much voltage can overstress or damage insulation. The system under test has been completely discharged to the ground. The grounding discharge time should be about five times the testing charge time. The effect of temperature is considered since insulation resistance is inversely proportional to insulation temperature. Resistance goes down as temperature goes up. The recorded reading are altered by changing in the temperature of insulation insulating material. It is recommended that test be performed at a standard conductor temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. As a rule of thumb, when comparing reading to 20 degree base temperature, double the resistance for every 10 degrees above 20 degree or half the resistance for every 10 degree below 20 degree centigrade in temperature. For example, a 1 mega ohm resistance at 20 40 degree centigrade will be transferable to 4 mega ohm resistance at 20 degree centigrade. To measure the conductor temperature, use a non-contact infrared thermometer such as Fluke 65. So these are basically some uh, pre and testing requirements that are very important if you want to take the reading correctly. Thank you very much.